challenging me to push in Walmart. The job. So when you start working, working woman, working woman, she a working woman, get the pay, get mama some of the money. <laughs> it's me absolutely raven and i'm back again with another video and of course if you read the title this is my next episode um i've been binge watching trying to catch up y'all Ch please child I'm trying to get these videos out i was supposed to put this out yesterday yes 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 i know i know but i got so much stuff going on but i did it so here i am sitting down with you guys getting ready to um I think another I got another video to do right after this um, if I'm not mistaken so we're gonna get right into it this is my big fat neat yes, so cute the title black ink season six episode five yes and we start the episode off with Ryan getting like this little plaque thing it was kind of cute um, it was clear with like this like beautiful note on it like writing and it was kind of weird though because he said it was from a fan and it was a picture of him and his godson and he was kind of creeped out now him and uh uh Ford were all like kind of laughing about it and uh Don but he was kind of like eerie about the situation but hey nevertheless it was still kind of cute. Um, so then they start trying to get on him about the day before where he went out with Kat. And after they tried to set him up with some chicks at a club and how Ashley showed up and all of that stuff. And he invited Kitty. And they was like, what's going on with that? You know what I'm saying? And then just got like straight to it like he was going to see her. And kiss and tell. Don't if you ain't doing that, you ain't doing nothing. Okay, Ryan. Do you? Y'all look cute together. Even though I'm team you and Rachel, but I can let that go, you know, because you know, if the relationship ain't gonna work and you saying it ain't working, then we just gonna have to get over the hump. So if you and Kitty want to get together, you have my blessing. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, so after that, you know, they um they laugh about it and he basically deny it. He say he even if he did, he didn't kiss his tail. But I see it's like some type of hidden attraction. I, or they just playing off of the, the, the tension that everybody giving him right now. Hey, I'm secure it. Secure the bag. Okay. <laughs> um and then Ford goes and explains to them that he had got this message about a relationship he had um, back in 2002. I'm thinking, like, I'm trying to go back. Like, he's saying he can't remember all the people he's been with and the relationships he had. And if he could possibly he had got somebody pregnant, it's a possibility. He don't know. I'm pretty sure 2002 is not that far like I can remember stuff when I was like four and five years old so to not remember 2002 and who you were with wow you know like I understand a lot go on but not that much so you don't remember stuff um so Don and them are like you know well if this the case we understand you need to get a test you need to figure out if this is true if this is accurate if this is not like some person trying to take advantage of the situation because they know that you got some little limelight just a little shine um 
and he said he was just kind of like nervous but he's gonna he's thinking about contemplating doing it um then we pan over to to charmaine and just at second city inc where they discussed the whole fight and how it got broke up and how it was just too much with both parties zach being the uh agitator um and fly tat being the aggressor and hiking it up to more than what it should have been even though nobody came to blows or nothing it just threw things off and then charmaine is regretting it because she's like listen i'm the one who hired this man so both of them so it looked bad on me like you know what she say three three thirds two thirds of my staff is gone you know so um understanding what they're trying to figure out they just they reflecting on it with the team and everything like that and charmaine jess is like really opposed to having zach come back around being the agitator um she didn't want him uh riling up anybody else whereas tension she just want a, a smooth shop she don't want all that extra drama and charmaine is saying the same thing because charmaine is like listen um this is what i came from this is what destroyed the shop that i used to be at so i don't know why i'm looking over there like like it's nothing over there but anyway um so She's just like, but I don't want to just like let him go because that's what happened to me and sympathizing and just trying to hopefully hear something back from him because they have not heard from him nor have they heard from Fly. Um, and Drea even said like Zach never called or never mentioned or anything. He didn't even return any of my texts or anything like that. And I'm like, girl, like two episodes ago, you was just all in love like but that is not my business okay <laughs> i know how that be then we see why we have not heard from uh flat tech not Zach. We haven't heard. We'll, we'll hear from what he had to say soon. But Flat Hat ends up going to Nymeg, which is Charmaine's old shop. He say, you know, he knew, he knows, he knew, he knows uh, Ryan. He been knowing him. He been knowing him for years, and he just want to stop by chop it up with him whatever whatever he goes and starts telling ryan about the whole argument fight slash beef that was supposed to happen and him not knowing the fate of his destiny with this shop thing so um Ryan is just like, you know, listening to it slightly, you can see the smirk on his face and his inner body is just like ready to just start cracking up laughing like, oh, this, there we go. Didn't take much time for y'all shop to fall apart. If you want to, you can always come over here. I know your skill and your work. If you need to, I don't want you to be out of job. Just holler at me. So... Fast forward to that. Um, Charmaine is uh back at her job, right? She works um Sarah two jobs, <coughs> which I ain't mad at her. You need several sources of income in these these days, you know. So she works at WGCI one hundred seven point five. You better dot that out, don't you? That's, that's a Chicago thing. Anyway, and Mama Glenda comes, y'all. Mama Glenda comes all excited with her books. And she's so happy because Charmaine and Nick had a sit down. And she had a change of thought with the whole wedding. She said, you know what? I'm going to do this for my, 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 um, our mamas. Let them, you know, let them live. Let them love. You know what I'm saying? Let them see us come together. We we give them that. Especially, and she slightly wanted it herself. Wish she admitted. But Mama Glenda was extra excited. It's it's cute because what we know to come in the next episode and 
what we actually know the backstory of later on, which I'll reveal. I won't talk about that too much, but I did know that I enjoyed watching their interaction with each other. And it's beautiful because she does have this captured on tape, you know, how she is. But she knows that anyway. But we all got to partake in their relationship of them being best friends. Um, so she wants to convince her, okay, well, what do you have everything planned? What are we going to do? How are we going to pick this? And Charmaine's kind of like, oh, mama, you're doing too much. So she convinced her, like, what? No, 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 no. You're not going to do that to me. I waited all your life for you to get married. Um, and so she say, well, we'll go wedding dress shopping. So they agreed to that. And Mama just had me. Oh, my goodness. She had me cracking up. Next, we see Ryan and his guys, Ford and Don, as usual, his posse. Go upstairs to his mother's children, his to Rachel, the mother of his children. He goes to her, her apartment. Apartment. Lord. Not apartment. What what am I today? He goes up to her uh law space, which is her business, which is called Paranova. It's a nail shop. And I think it has a whole bunch of stuff. I wanted to go to their website, but I didn't. I didn't pry. I just, but it's a nail shop, and it's a couple floors up because they're all in um in a, a building. So she has a little space upstairs, which is her nail shop that she had for seven years, and this is the anniversary, and they're having a celebration. And so he thought he would go up and show her some support. The tension was so real between them two. That's why I said I, I, I'm i here for him and Kitty, but it's always like just the love. I know they call themselves friends and family, and they always going to be family, but you can't deny that. Like, y'all just got to put y'all pride to the side and just let love love and just keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know it's a lot. Ryan is a Gemini. I'm talking to Rachel, y'all. Excuse y'all. Ryan is a Gemini. I'm sure it's a lot to handle, but girl, no. Just, <laughs> let me stop. Um, keep that though. Whatever y'all get, that's that's that. Keep it, cause friendship with relationships sometimes you become the best of friends when the relationship don't work because you're forcing something that um is better off as friends. And it helps for a better co-parenting. So I appreciate whatever that tension, that 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 attraction y'all have between y'all two. It was cute when he was like, wait a minute, you ain't never had no split like that when I was... <laughs> I said, I know that's right, right. You better... Oh, who you think you are, Rachel? No, just... <laughs> um, so Nikki is at the party. And if y'all haven't met Nikki, Nikki was like... Two seasons ago, that was for his boo. They was together for a little bit. Um, and I heard she was supposed to be, like, seen with 50 Cent here and there. But I don't know if they still together. But that's neither here nor there. She wanted to come show support. She no longer lives in Chicago. She is in Atlanta, he said. And so, um, she saw him. And she just wanted to say hi and not be, you know, uncomfortable. Still in her own Nikki way. Hey. Uh, he goes to tell her because he's like well this was my friend and since i see ryan my poor oh my god such a little brother like everything everybody else do he gotta be like okay it's cool i can do it too um he tells uh you know nikki that he possibly could be having a teenage daughter ain't had a test ain't talked to the people yet or nothing she teasing him talking about you finna be somebody daddy not a 17 year old you know and so, he's like, no, slow down. He just trying to be, like, have something to talk to her about, okay? Um, but she was like, oh, I just wanted to come say hi and check on you and you know, I see you good. Um, and that was that pretty much. Uh, so, that's when he decided, like, I'm going to reach out to the baby mom, to the mom of the girl to check on the girl to make sure because he keeps explaining how in his life his dad wasn't there for him when he wanted him to be there so much so maybe he could be the dad his dad wasn't 
Um, then Ryan calls the kids at the party. That was so cute. She was, um, you know, doing her th acceptance speech and her thank you speech and saying, you know, like, I can't believe it's been seven years. And he calls the kids and they're like, Mommy. I'm like, oh, that is so cute. Um, and then we see Charmaine and Mama Glenda and everybody there out wedding dress shopping. I think she has a friend. I think that said it was her friend and it was her cousin um, who we met in like late past seasons, uh, Danielle. And she had just got married off camera. She didn't get married on, on the show. She got married maybe last summer or something like that. But it was like a nice, simple, elegant, you know, re you know, dress. It wasn't like over the top, I should say. Um... So, Charmaine is wedding dress shopping with them. This girl was doing the most. Like, she is so silly. Like, I feel her energy. She like, I'm not with all this. Y'all trying to put me in this foo-foo stuff. But I, I, the last dress she had on was really cute. The first one she had on looked at uh, too much. Like, breast just popping all out of it. Like, she could burp in that thing to tear apart. And then the second one, she looked like a flower child ready to run in the field. Uh, and then the third one, she looked really cute, like a little princess. So I and her mom and everybody else said, yes, that's the one. You look really nice. I like that, that one. Even if you don't go with that dress, that style. Especially since I've seen Erica Mena just get um, married on Love & Hip Hop. Her dress was to die for. And not that you're trying to hide because everybody know you're pregnant, but it wasn't so revealing that you was pregnant. The day was going to be about you. So I'm just saying we know that you're like three, four months pregnant. That dress would have been perfect for you, you know. Um. Then. Okay, where's my notes? Uh. Zach, we back at, uh, Charmaine is back with the whole team, and they're all at, uh, Second City Inc. sitting around, um, all together now, talking about, uh, they still haven't heard from Flytag, nor have they heard from Zach. Prince comes in right in the nick of them saying that, and saying, oh, y'all ain't seen these videos, these posts that, uh, videos, posts that, uh, Zach been putting up on IG, talking about F the shop and Chicago ain't for him and he on his way back to Ohio where he came from and they like wait a minute and Charmaine was more offended than anybody because she had you know if I, you remember me telling you earlier she was trying to take up for him Jess was like see I told you I told you not to <laughs> uh, so then she was like okay he done I'm not going to have him, um, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to have him coming to the shop. Woo, 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 that's it. Like, girl, he said he was done. But, anywho, uh, then we see a little bit of Ford talking to the girl, uh, ch checking on the girl's sister who reached out to him in the first place. So, the sister reached out first, talking about the mama, and, the sister saying that she wanted to make sure her sister just had knew where she came from. Uh, and so that's when he reached out and he was like, well, this seemed like it's kind of legit, whatever. Don wasn't sure. Ah. Seemed like some scamming stuff to me, to be honest with you. Anywho, um, Charmaine does finally see Fly Tag, Tag come back to the shop to say hey or whatever like that and let him know the update of how he feeling. Um, and he goes into saying how he went and met up with, with Ryan because he felt like he lost his job. He wasn't sure. And he did not want to come back and have to work with Zach anymore. So he knew that he wasn't sure if he was going to have to do that. And Charmaine was like, what? You did what? Now that was kind of like, that didn't make no sense. Like you trying to start some like be for real like it, it was already like tension but it was like that's their shop this is our shop there's no intertwine you went and intertwined the whole situation like that wasn't even cause for a boy you didn't even come and check in and see if you still had a job to go run all her business to Ryan but that's my opinion <laughs> 
Uh, anywho, he goes to tell Charmaine, like, listen, uh, you know, I just wanted to make sure to keep myself covered. Like, you only think about yourself, sir. Um, so she was pissed with him. Like, my problem is with you is <laughs> you go to Ryan as soon as you feel like it's a problem and you telling him what's going on over here so he can be laughing at our face, like I said. And then she was like, oh, no, I'm about to go check him. Try he tried me. He tried to give you what? I that didn't even sound like he giving you nothing. He ain't saying come over here and work for me because I don't want you working for like girl. But Charmaine being hormonal, I blame it on the hormones. I love you, girl. Like I'm not finna dog you. No. <laughs> she being hormonal and angry and already like tension and she didn't like how she was being treated and that whole scandal happened where they was talking about Van, that was last season, supposedly doing something with her and nobody backing her up. So she just felt like I don't have nobody, it's just me. So if you gonna try to do me like that, I'm finna show you. So she cussed him out and said she don't want nothing to do with him sad part is it's gonna come to a head um i just think that they just wasn't hearing each other and everybody had pride today pride but thank you so much for watching please continue to watch i'm gonna put another one up after this one thank you and i'll see you in the next video peace bye and be beautiful because you're beautiful people bye